These are the HD Vision Special Ops sunglasses. The commercial says they're inspired by the needs of the men and women in uniform. Do they really live up to the advertising hype? Let's find out in today's review. Here I am in Baker, California, on my way down to Orange County where I'm doing another product review, but I figured I'd bring my HD Vision Special Ops with me along with some other sunglasses I reviewed for comparison's sake. And so far after about 90 minutes in the car, I actually kind of like the way they look. They have a nice amber tint to them, not too dark like some of the other ones are. I'm kind of wondering if this is poking my nose a little bit. I'm gonna have to see how that goes, but it doesn't poke my nose as much as the TAC glasses did. I don't think they look as bad as the TAC glasses, so I think that they're kind of ahead of them as far as that goes. But I still got a long way to go, so let's see how they work on the rest of my trip down to Orange County. One of the reasons I came down to Orange County today of all days is because of this. We've got TAC glasses, Redshift XT, HD Vision, Special Ops, and a regular pair of Aviator sunglasses. Let's see how the HD Vision Special Ops compares to the others. HD Vision Special Ops and TAC glasses. Both of them have kind of cheap frames. A similar design, not exactly the same. I find that this part of the TAC glasses seems to be less comfortable in my nose than this part of the HD Vision Special Ops, although this part did kind of dig into my nose just a little bit. As you can see, the TAC glasses are darker, while the HD Vision Special Ops have more of an amber tint to them. I actually find that these are almost too dark at times. HD Vision Special Ops. TAC glasses. Round two, HD Vision Special Ops versus Redshift XT Black Ops. We have the two Ops glasses here. Again, both kind of cheap plastic. The problem with these is they look so much like safety goggles that I don't really, I actually do wear these in the car, but I really wouldn't want to wear these in public. Watch. Not only do they have a pink, they look pink, but it looks like they just got back from the gun range or something. I'm not really a big fan of these. Well, these aren't really my preferred design, I wouldn't be as embarrassed walking around in these. They're not bad. So here we go, round two. HD Vision Special Ops Redshift XT. And finally, let's do the HD Vision Special Ops versus a regular pair of Aviator sunglasses. Again, the cheap frame, but these are metal frames. They feel more sturdy than these do. Although I think they cost the same. These were, these were 15 bucks. These were, I think, 15 or 20. These were 15 bucks, the Redshift XT. Tack glasses, I think, were 20 bucks. All right, round three. HD Vision Special Ops, regular aviator sunglasses. Which design do you think is best? The HD Vision Special Ops, Redshift XT Black Ops, the Tack glasses, or a regular pair of aviator sunglasses? If the name HD Vision sounds familiar, there's been other HD Vision sunglasses that advertise over the years. There was the original HD Vision, HD Night Vision, HD Wraparounds, HD Night Vision Wraparounds, and now they have the HD Vision Special Ops, which jumps on the tactical bandwagon. A lot of these SCN TV marketers have jumped on. That's why you have products like Tac Light, Tac Light Lantern, Atomic Beam, Atomic Beam Lantern. The Redshift XT was Black Ops. This is Special Ops, so you can tack glasses. Tactical bandwagon is fully loaded with the SNT marketers now. They're all in. They're re-releasing products under the tactical names. It's just kind of gotten a little bit ridiculous. I wanted to stop and talk for a second about the television commercial for the HD Vision Special Ops. I have the daytime version, but there's also a nighttime version as well. What I find interesting is it seems like everybody wearing the daytime version is not very happy. Consider the bald guy who's featured in there not once but twice why isn't he happy you also have the hunter the military guy hiding in the lake and even the snarling host of the commercial himself in fact the only guy who seems to be happy in this commercial is this guy and he's staring directly at the sun with a big smile on his face something tells me it's more than the glasses that's making him happy it seems like the nighttime people are happier including this girl in the car and this guy who has a smile he can't wipe off his face after he put his glasses on I don't really see a huge advantage of these over a regular pair of sunglasses. I mean, they're kind of cheap plastic frames. It does have a nice, pleasant amber tint to them, and not, it's not too dark. Uh, some glasses tend to be too dark for me. 
When I take them off, everything seems to have kind of a dull bluish tint, so I'm thinking there might be some blue light blocking going on. I'm not 100% sure. They definitely seem to have a clarity to them, but are they worth advertising on television? Eh, probably not. They seem to be just kind of standard sunglasses. I like the design better than TAC glasses. I like the design better than Redshift XT, so I give them advantage in there. I found these at Walmart for 15 bucks, which is not really a bad price for a pair of sunglasses. I also don't think they're really anything extraordinary beyond a regular pair of sunglasses. I'd like to hear from some military people to see if these are actually inspired by what they give in the military because I'm not sure that all these tactical sunglasses they're advertising are actually the kind of sunglasses that people in the military wear but the advertising seem to imply that so what do you guys think? I do think that <laughs> whoa I do think that the TAC glasses at Redshift XT and the HD Vision Special Ops, I'd probably wear these just for aesthetic reasons. And also because I think that the amber tent's probably the most pleasing of the three. So of, to me, of the three advertised ones, this is the best of the three. And at $15, the price isn't bad either. What do you think about the HD Vision Special Ops? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more as seen on TV product reviews from me, James White with Freaking Reviews.